Hi, I'm Todd. I'm from How To Take A Good Photo. And today I'm gonna to be taking you through prime lenses. Now this is a 50 millimeter lens. Now it's a fixed focal length lens, so that means it doesn't have a zoom ring. So I can't zoom this lens. Now you might be thinking, what's the point of that? You can't zoom a lens, what's, that's stupid. But it's not all stupid because removing the zoom element of a lens allows you to put more f-stops in. It allows you to dramatically improve the quality of the optics in the lens. It allows me to stop it down to say 1.8, which is this lens, or even 1.2 or 0.95 on really expensive lenses. This allows for a much greater shot in terms of light. So I can add more light to this shot by having a much higher and much faster aperture. The prime lenses of today are fairly similar to what they were back in the olden days. You can still buy prime lenses for say my Sony Alpha A7, grab a mount and stick it on the body itself and it will still function as per normal. Older prime lenses you had to manually focus, so that's what this ring here is for. You can hear it there. And they're really great for artistic shots and when you really want to think about that shot before you grab it. Prime lenses often have a higher quality compared to their Zoom brothers. Um, they aren't exactly more practical, but they are if you are determining the shot. So if you're in a studio environment, if you want to start out doing portraits, the 50 millimeter lens is definitely the best way to go. 50 millimeter or even a 90 millimeter lens, because anything wider than that, and you're a bit too close to your subject there. So that's what a prime lens is. They come in very different varieties. You can get a ultra wide prime angle lens, which is possibly a 14 millimeter lens or 22. And you can also grab a 90 or 135 or 200 millimeter lens, which is a, a very big telephoto lens, which doesn't allow you to zoom. But these are always pretty much going to be better than zoom lenses because they don't have the extra elements to allow the, the, to allow the lens to zoom. So would I shoot with a prime lens? Well, most of the time what photos I do, I don't know what I'm gonna be taking a photo of. I could rock up to an event and have the marketing manager say, I want you to take food photos today, or I want you to do a live band that's out on the courtyard. I don't know what I'm gonna be taking, but I always do take my prime lenses with me. I normally start out with a 70 to 200 millimeter lens or a 24 to 70 millimeter zoom lens, but that's just the way I shoot. Depending on what you're shooting, you might only wanna use prime lenses because they offer you the best quality that you can get. When I know what kind of shot I want, I do often go for my 50 millimeter, 50 millimeter lens first and then progress up or progress down to ultra wide prime lenses. These can range from very cheap to thousands of dollars. One like a 55 millimeter Sony E-mount lens can run you only about $180, depending on where you get it from. If I was starting out in photography, I would get the 35 and the 50 millimeter, 50 millimeter lens. I've got to say that again, don't I? If you were starting out in photography, I would recommend you go with either a 35 millimeter lens or a 55 millimeter lens. To get into why I would choose either, Click the video over here. I chose a 35 millimeter. I chose a 35 millimeter lens at the start of my photography career, and I couldn't be happier. Although a 55 millimeter lens just has a distinct look to it. It's very pretty, and it's great for bokeh shots. So that's what prime lenses are. They are lenses that can't zoom. They have better image quality and they are sometimes lighter and more affordable than zoom lenses. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to thumb up the video. If you disliked it, don't forget to dislike it. Comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching and have an awesome day. Korean